This is John Malvey from My Bookkeeper Software. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate some of the new features that are in Bookkeeper 25. So the first thing I want to mention is that the screen is now resizable. So the resizing happens on the main screen in Bookkeeper. So now you can maximize a screen, you know, or you can grab the handles on the corner and make it wider and the screens will adjust automatically. Now with Bookkeeper, uh, the majority of the screens are pop-up screens. So those are not resizable, but they do resize proportionally to how the main screen is. So, you know, if you shrink the screen and then you click, you know, the, the pop-ups will be proportional. So when you want to do the resizing, resize from the main screen and then all the other pop-ups uh, will size accordingly. One of the next things to I wanted to call out is with reports now, you have the ability to open up multiple reports at the same time. So I can pull up one report, and then if I want to, I can just pull up a, uh, a separate report. And now both reports can be viewed at the same time. So you can do multiple reports, you know, as many as you want. Um, and there's also a zoom feature that has been increased to, you can zoom now up to, you know, 150%. So if you are, you know, running Bookkeeper in a smaller size and you have a larger screen and you want to, you know, have the reports zoomed in, you can do that as well. Okay. All right. So um, the next thing is when setting up new companies now, when you select the chart of accounts, if you go with the standard setup and you select the chart of accounts and you want to set the opening balance, you have the ability to see what the, the net balance is based on the account types that you have. So, you know, when you set up open balances, you have to have everything needs to net to zero. So now you can kind of see, you know, as you're entering information here, you're entering your open balances, you can see, you know, where you need to, you know, make some adjustments so that everything nets to zero. So it's just kind of a, a check just to make sure that, um, that everything comes out correctly. And again, you don't have to do this. Um, it's just only if you are setting up opening balances. Uh, over here, the buttons to add sales tax and payroll withholding and other accounts are also available. Um, bank accounts is something that's new. So if you wanted to add bank accounts, you can click on it and you'll see that it puts in an entry for the bank account that you can put in a bank account opening balance. And you can do this multiple times. So you can do up to 25 different bank accounts and they'll all show up here. Um, again, if you don't do it here downstream in, in this in the setup wizard, you know, you will be prompted to um, to set up an account. So you don't have to set up the bank account here. It's just if you wanted to, you could. Okay. That. And for deposits now, you have the ability to enter negative line items. So if you're doing something to, let's say, sales and then you had say some of these associated with that you can put in a negative line item for that and so now you have your deposit at 90. so that's something that you know if you needed to do that's available now and let's see oh so for the um there's a new report for job profitability it's uh, it looks like an income statement um, and it's for the job. So you'll see it here listed under the financial section. You see income statement by job. So if you click on that, it's just a simple P&L and it just, as you manage transactions for your job, um, it'll show up here. So it's a quick, easy way to kind of see the, the profitability for a particular job. Okay, and for credit card processing, if you're using Credit cards, this is not if you're charging cards, but if you're managing expense payments and, um, you know, with credit cards, it's a little bit different now. You, when you set up a, uh, a credit card that's not a debit card, but a credit card, you have the ability to specify what the payable account is for that. So if I went in and entered, um, let's say I had a, a Citibank Visa card, I can go in and if I don't have a, a payable account set up, you know, I can just do new 
um, and it'll set up it for you, or you can select you know, the, the payable account that's already there. And then now as you create transactions, expense transactions using this card, it will use this payable account. And this is important because this is for the bank account reconciliation. This account is going to be used to identify with the transactions that need to be reconciled. All right. And then along with that, if I want to do the reconciliation, okay, so now I can go in here and this screen has changed. So now I, what I do is go in and select the card that I want. It will pull up all the expense transactions that use that. Um, well, actually, you don't have to specify it when you're doing expense transactions, but behind the scenes, it will track all the expenses um, that are related to that card because of that payable account that's set up. And then if you go to select a payment, so now it'll be all the payments you've made to that vendor um, using that payable account will show up here. And you can just double click and the, pay, the, uh, the payment transaction will show up here. And then just like the regular bank rec, you can just go in and select whatever accounts. You can also add uh, interest and fees and, and that you can do a reconciliation and it'll remember you know, what's been reconciled. And just to show you, when you're making a payment to um, to the bank, so in this case here, you would set up a vendor uh, for the bank, all right, and then it'll show up with that credit card payable account, and then you put in the amount. And this transaction here will be what is used for tracking what payments were made to the banks during the reconciliation. Okay, let's see. Going on the list, uh, departments are is another big thing that's been added here. So before, departments were kind of just informational, but now they have a, a more important role in Bookkeeper 2025. So now you can set up departments at the company level. And then for the different transactions, you'll see now that there's a, a drop down for department. So now you can keep track of expenses and income. Um, you know, by department, you'll see this, you know, for all the payables, you'll see this for all the expenses. Um, and you'll also see this uh, on on the invoice as well. All right, as you're adding line items here. And then you'll see these for deposits, ATM transactions, bank adjustments, and so forth. So you'll see all that there. So you can do that. And there's a slew of reports that go into um, identifying transactions made by the department. There'll be a separate video on departments that I'll go into a little more detail, but just at a high level, know that all the transactions now can be at the department level as well as uh, payroll. So when you're setting up an employee, you can go in and identify the de different departments that they're associated with and their allocation for that particular department. And so when you're running payroll, if you have different allocations, you know, the payroll run will be the same, but behind the scenes, all the withholding and wages will be based on whatever this allocation is. And so you can change this at runtime. You can set it as a default. If you're using timesheets based on the hours, it will reallocate based on the hours that, that were put in. Again, a more detail will appear, appear in another video. And so along with the departments, the budgets um, set up a little bit differently because you can't do budgets by department. Uh, so the screen has changed a little bit. So now you can specify the year, you specify the account, and then if you want to, you can specify department. You don't have to, um, but if it's there, you can click on set, go through, put in your allocations per month or distribute some amount. And then, you know, once you do that, you click save and then it'll do the next combination. So it's really the combination of the budget year, account and department. Um, you can do that way. And so this way, if you're doing, um, you know, income statements that include a budget, um, if you're doing it at the department level, um, you'll be able to you know, show that as well. And I think the last thing to call out is with vendor. Um, this is just a, a minor um, enhancement but you can now set up vendor terms and so if you do set up a term here and you do create a payable you know once you put in the the invoice date and you tab off the field you'll see that the invoice due date gets increased by whatever the uh, the terms that are set up here so again so look for more videos regarding uh, credit card processing as well as the departments 
and so thanks for watching and thanks for being a bookkeeper customer.